Okay, this is Manny Pacquiao. You're watching PhilippineNews.com. Well, it's just, you know, creating something uh, heavier for me, it's creating something for my body to, to, uh, to increase in speed, you know, I'm, I'm, it's just a test, it's just an experiment, and, and that's, what we're, that's what we're doing, you know, we're just trying to see if, if, uh, if it'll work for me. You know, but aside from that, I feel great on it, and, and, and we're always trying to look for something that, that will increase my speed and power. So it just may kind of just, you know, it's like he's carrying more weight, so it's just going to make him a little slower. So the idea is kind of like, like when you train with big gloves, when you put the little gloves on, your hands are faster. The idea is that, you know, he's, he's wearing the weighted suit, so when he takes the weight off, he'll feel quicker and faster. So it's kind of that kind of that same theory as like the heavy gloves. Well, it you know it definitely stresses the uh, the heart. It stresses the training, it makes it tougher to train. It's not like he's not wearing like 20 pounds on his body. You know he has like uh, uh, shorts, weighted shorts around his thighs and his hips. So he's got about three pounds on that. And he's got about five pounds on his upper body. You know it's kind of distributed too. So it's not like he's wearing ankle weights and he's wearing uh, uh, wrist, you know, weights around his wrist. That can be detrimental because it's not, you know, you have that snap, a, a fighter has snap on the end of his punches. If he snaps and he has that weight jarring him, that can be, I believe, is detrimental to the joints. Especially with the velocity and the snap that a fighter has, especially someone like Monito. Uh, the weights as well on the ankles, sometimes that can, you know, one leg's always dominant over the other. You add ankle weights to that, you can, you know, you can create problems in the hips, the low back. Uh, it's not as, it's not that effective. But I do like the distributed weight around the upper body and the, and the thighs and the hips. It adds a little bit of weight on his body, right? He's not, um, you know, he's not someone, you know, this fight is different. He's not cutting. He's just training, you know? He's a, he's a natural featherweight. So he's still not exactly where he can be. But, you know, he's had years and years of fighting in the teen weights. He, the, the man knows how to cut weight like nobody, you know. It's kind of down to a science. It's very, very effective at that. Um, you know, I've seen it many times, featherweights, one month, all these guys walking around next to him in the elevator going, how do you make 115, 118? I, don't, I can't even make 126. How do you do that? This guy can do it. So now this is like tremendous breathing room. He's going to be uh, all, this, all this speed. Explosiveness. He's gonna have uh, his energy. You know, it's gonna be a great, uh, a great um, opportunity now at 122 to really show himself. You know, his skills and explosiveness and everything. Ready? <laughs> hey, looking at me? Oh! 